All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and we are here today with another tip video. This is one's going to be how to level up your mentor as fast as possible. Now, I honestly didn't make this video right away because I was sure with how long Xenoverse had been out, almost everyone had figured it out or a lot of people had covered it on YouTube already. I did some digging, and turns out not a lot of people have actually tapped into this. Um, there's, a, there's a couple videos, there's a couple smaller videos out about it. There's a few things I found online, but there's nothing really helping people out with this one. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, t I'll definitely do this. The only reason I didn't do it sooner is because I was sure somebody had done it already, or because it's kind of a, it's a very, it's a thing someone could have made a video on, I'll say that much. <coughs> but no, uh, for characters I'll explain why I'm picking this character. I have a couple characters, this is Thunder Smack and Thunder Fab, they're good for 1v1s. This is my main character, I don't really like his stat distribution. Uh, this is Thunder Gal, she's a key spammer, she has 100 in key blast, she has 100, or she's working on 100 in key, she's not there yet. And then she has a few points in health. She's got about 30 points in health or so. Now, I don't use her for 1v1s. She's a very key spammy character. I don't use her for 1v1s. I don't know if I ever plan to, but I did make her to get through missions as fast as possible. I recommend having at least one character that is a Saiyan or Earthling female that can just key spam <coughs> moves all day. Uh, I pick Saiyan because I want to be able to go Super Vegeta and or Super Vegeta 2 just to, again, spam Key Blast all day. Because Key Blast spam eats through the computers alive, and while it may be annoying to play against... Uh, if you ever have like a one-on-one -on -one in the online realm and the versus realm it's really good for just getting through quests as fast as possible that's gonna come in handy so if any of you guys are wondering uh, Thundershot how do I find any mentor that I'm looking for I can't find Cell I can't find Beerus where's Goku at uh, I can't find anyone who I've gotten from the DLC where's Tien or Yamcha or Pan for that matter <clears throat> this is not the video for you but my buddy Rhymestyle did make a video on that so remind me if I forget but his link should be in the description down below on how to uh, how to find any mentor you want as fast as possible uh, but no this video is about how to level up your mentor as fast as possible so in case you guys don't know if you push start you come down to play data uh, you go over R1 or L1 either way <clears throat> And then you'll see, you'll come to your mentor meter. Now, as you can see, I've completed almost every mentor in the game so far. I've completed every mentor that came standard on disc besides Cell. He's about halfway done. He's a little over halfway done. And then if we come down here, I've maxed out Yamcha. I'm about to max out Pan, and I've never actually seen Tien. So I'll, I'll bump into Tien eventually. Um, if you guys are just starting the game, or if you guys haven't really completed a lot of mentors yet, my honest recommendation is just pick whatever mentor up you find. Like, complete whatever mentor you're on. Pick up whichever one you find. The only exceptions to this are if you see Goku or Beerus, because it seems like they have a really low spawn rate for some reason, but it took me forever before I actually saw Beerus. But what I did is I just picked up a mentor, I would stay with that mentor till I maxed him out, and then I moved on. A couple more things you have to worry about, uh, Gohan and Videl, and then Vegeta, will come to a point where they require a specific Z Soul. The Z Souls can be found in the parallel quest if you just look or if you don't know how. You can Google what parallel quest you need for Gohan and Vegeta, but there will come a point when you can't get any higher with Vegeta or Gohan and Videl until you find a specific Z Soul, so keep that in mind. Aside from that, uh, we're going to talk about leveling up your mentor. So, my bird won't shut up, I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Leveling up your mentor. So, parallel quests, I believe, I'm about 99% sure, the only way to level up your mentor. Just completing parallel quests in general. I do not think anything in the online verses helps level up your mentor meter. I might be wrong on that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure what you do in online versus will never help your parallel quest or will never help your mentor stuff. But aside from that, as long as you have this mentor and you are doing parallel quests, doesn't matter which ones, doesn't matter who you use, doesn't matter what move you do, as long as you're completing parallel quests, you will level up your mentor. Now, if you ignore everything and you just play online with friends, you just do missions over and over again, or you just play offline, you pick whatever partner you want, whatever, then you will level up your mentor. It might be slower. It will definitely be slower than the methods I'm about to give you, but if you can completely ignore your mentor and still level them up. I will say that much, just so long as you were doing parallel quests. However, to speed this process up a little bit, I have a few tips and tricks. That's what this video is going to be about today. So, the first thing you can do to help level up your mentor meter, this means every time you complete a mission, your mentor meter will go up a little bit. Now, I will say one thing, the mentor meter does appear to have lag. For example, I could do 10 missions and do the best things I can do to help level up my mentor meter <clears throat> with Pan, and Pan's bar might not move. I have seen lag before, and then all of a sudden, instead of just going up a little bit, Pan's meter will jump straight to the top after about the 11th mission or so, and I'm just pulling these numbers out. I don't know any specifics, but... Sometimes the mentor meter will lag and you won't see any results and then all of a sudden, boom, they'll fill up half a meter instantly. I have seen that happen before, so keep that in mind. <coughs> Just because it's not moving doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Um, aside from that, uh, to level up their mentor meter, we're gonna, I've said that way too many times, but 
Move, moving that thing up as fast as possible. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to spam the moves that your mentor has taught you. So the very first time you meet your mentor, they'll give you a move <clears throat> right off the bat. And after that, you need to put that move, whether it's shitty for your character, awesome for your character, doesn't matter. You need to put that move on your character. For example, Pan gave me the move prepare to be punished. What the move does is it raises all my stats, but it makes it so I cannot change who I'm locked onto. Pretty much until they're dead. There's a, there's a time limit on it, but you understand. But it's a pose. So I'm going to run prepare to be punished, and I'm going to spam that every chance I get. That's going to help Pan's mentor meter move up quicker. Uh, second thing you're going to want to do when you go into parallel quest, I'm going to want to select Pan as my partner. And I think, I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but I think it does. I'm going to, since we're allowed to have two companions, I'm going to select Pan twice to be my partner. <coughs> That's going to help move it up quicker. Doing parallel quests with your partner in on offline parallel quest mode will also help you level up your mentor meter even faster. Now, I'm going to use mission number 15, and I'll tell you why. Uh, doing missions that have a possibility of dropping a Dragon Ball and are also fast kind of kills two birds with one stone. Now, if you guys don't know, I have a video on how to gather the Dragon Balls as quickly as possible. Uh, if I remember, the link will be in the description of the video. <coughs> but you can just look it up on my channel. You'll find out how to gather the Dragon Balls as quickly as possible in Xenoverse. And I actually don't recommend doing mission 15 for that and the reason for that is because you have to complete mission 15 before a possibility of a dragon ball is dropping and then it kicks you out to the beginning you have to run all the way over to the parallel quest booth again do the missions again and i didn't like that however for completing your mentor this is actually a very good mission because you have to complete the mission because you can't start a mission with your mentors and then quit out to the home screen before you finish it that won't level them up at all but <coughs> with mission 15 i'm able to complete a mission so regardless, my mentor meter goes up, and then there's also a chance of a Dragon Ball coming out at the end, and it's a very quick mission to do. So I do recommend Mission 15. Mission 2 is another one that's pretty okay for this, but I prefer Mission 15 because it's one target, and I can actually do it quicker uh, than I can any other. So let me pick Pan as my partner. I'm going to use both forms of Pan just because I don't know if it makes a difference or not. And then we're going to do this mission. And then aside from that, you got to spam the moves. <clears throat> you got to uh, you got to spam Pan's move specifically um i'm using them as my partner and then there's one more thing there's one more tip after i finish this mission i'm going to show you guys that i and this last tip is one that i think the least amount of people would know about so i'm going to go ahead and finish this mission and once again there is a chance of a dragon ball dropping that's why i picked mission 15 it could be done very quickly but there's also a chance of a dragon ball dropping so let's go ahead and drop pan's move first thing because once again spamming that move will help Oh yeah, I thought I had Death Ball on. Oops. She does so much damage. It's gross. It's gross. Okay. So see, I one hit KO'd once I went Super Gita, and here we go. Now here comes the chance to drop the Dragon Ball. That's not going to happen every time, but they have buffed the rates that these guys show up. So if this final Shine Attack lives, I should have done Prepare to be Punished once. Oh, I still can. Cool, cool. Let's do a Prepare to be Punished to spam some more Pan moves, and if I hit him with this... There we go. Let's see if we get a Dragon Ball too. Nope, no Dragon Ball on this one. <coughs> oh well, no Dragon Ball, but you guys see what I mean. That mission especially, this is why you need a key spam character, by the way. That mission goes by extremely quickly. Chance for a time patrol to show up, which means a chance for a Dragon Ball to drop, and I level up Pan. Now this last tip I'm going to give you guys, talk to your mentor after every parallel quest. Since they're spawning you a lot closer now, this also helps, and since they move the mentor location. But talk to your mentor after every parallel quest. You've gotten so much stronger. <coughs> we do this for two reasons. Number one, uh, the mentor has a chance to give you something, some kind of Z or some kind of uh, capsule. Uh, perhaps they. I think I've randomly gotten Z souls before. I might be wrong on that. Some kind of capsule though is usually what they'll give you. <coughs> Maybe a Hercule badge here and there. Um, but yeah, that's the first reason. The second reason we do it is it actually levels up the mentor meter a little bit. And I know that sounds crazy. I know, and a lot of people are gonna be like, "What Thundershot? No, it doesn't. Fuck you." Um, but no, after every parallel quest, talk to your mentor. <coughs> talk to your mentor one time, okay? And I know a lot of people, once again, Thundershot, that doesn't work. Why would you think that that works? Do you have any proof of this? And I actually, on stream one time, uh, I was leveling up somebody. I think it was like my second level of Cell or something like that. And what ended up happening was uh, I did not have... Cell was not ready to train me, right? He had no question mark above his head. He had nothing above his head, right? Well, I talked to Cell, and then he did. I talked to Cell. I just looked at him. I'm like, oh, hey, Cell, what's going on? I don't think he gave me anything, but all I did was talk to him. And then after that, 
the question mark showed up above his head. So talking to them in between every single parallel quest does help max the meter out. So those are three tips. Those are the three main things you need to learn. Number one, well, you just got to be doing parallel quests. You just have to be doing parallel quests regardless. Number one, spam the move that they gave you. Spam the moves that they've given you. Uh, and then run them as your partners. Run them as your partners. And then the final tip, of course, is to talk to them between every single parallel quest. And this is the fastest way that I know of. If you have any more tips that you know for sure work, feel free to let me know. But like I said, I've been doing this whole mentor thing for a long time. I've only got two and a half mentors left. Well, closer to one and a half, really. One and a half mentors left. I don't think I got the killing blow on that one. Nah, I didn't get the killing blow on that one. So that one's my bad. But there you go. There you go. And just because I was kind of distraught and uh, in the middle of a mission during that one, <clears throat> once again, I'll run, about, I'll run about you guys. Talk to your mentor between every single parallel quest. You have to be doing parallel quests, otherwise it won't work. Spam your partner's moves. Spam your mentor's moves that they've given you. Um, and run them as your partner in-game. Those are the three mains. So there you go. You guys got it all covered. You, got the, you guys got the whole basis covered. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, if you guys need to know anything else, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. This video has ran on a little bit longer than I intended, but there is kind of a lot to know about the whole partner thing. And as you can see, look at that meter. Go back and compare that. I might put a timestamp, but go back and compare that meter to what it was at before. If I do that mission two or three more times, I'll have Pan maxed out. But there you go. That's how to level up your partner meter as fast as humanly possible. Uh, once again, I would recommend only picking up Goku or Beerus if they show up right away. Aside from that, there's not a whole lot of... Uh, there's not a whole lot of mentors that have like super kick-ass awesome moves that you need to know right now So just go through them as you see them. Just pick up a mentor as you max out. So you max out one Hey, this guy's rocking the shit Yeah, just max a mentor out <coughs> And then move on to the next and then max a mentor out and then move on to the next and unless it's Beerus or Goku don't even bother getting out of that. Just keep doing your thing but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. I want to thank you guys coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed the mentor guide. I should leave a playlist to all of my tips and tricks videos down below. We have how to level up as fast as possible. We have how to get Dragon Balls as fast as humanly possible, or as fast as possible in Xenoverse. Uh, there's how to get every single move in the game in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. So there you go. All those are going to be in some kind of tip playlist down below. And don't forget Rhyme Style's video on how to find any, uh, any mentor in the game. But yeah, thank you guys coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, I'm Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace, guys.